Imagine if we flooded the Death Valley? We humans have a knack for changing the environment. Often, these projects have effects we didn't plan for. Everybody get of the dam. Sometimes, it's disastrous. And other times, it gives us energy and agriculture. But imagine if we took the hottest desert in the US and transformed it into a lake. Death Valley is the hottest place on Earth with an average summer temperature of 49 degrees Celsius. It covers 1.3 million hectares of California and Nevada in the desert. Flooding it sounds impossible. But Death Valley periodically floods itself. And south of Death Valley lies the Salton Sea. This freshwater lake was accidentally created in 1905 when engineers caused the Colorado River to flood. A lake in the middle of a desert sounds like a great idea. But the Salton Sea revealed a different reality. What began as a freshwater lake is now a toxic and salty body of water. All the fish died. And it smells like rotten eggs. Why? It had no drainage. Salt levels increased, oxygen depleted, and runoff from agriculture poisoned the water. Not if we're smart about it. Terraforming this area, a process of turning a hostile environment into one more suitable for human life, would require building a channel from the Pacific Ocean to Death Valley. This would be about 480 to 650 kilometers long and would bring water into Death Valley. But what flows in, must flow out. So, we would also need to build a second channel between Death Valley and the Pacific Ocean for water to drain. This would avoid the stinky mistake of Salton Sea by allowing water to move more freely between the new, Death Valley Sea, and the Pacific Ocean. And there you go! Water instead of a desert. But what would that really change? First, we'd have to think of a new name for the area. Death Valley doesn't seem very appropriate for a brand new body of water. But more importantly, it would be a huge job creator. The venture capital firm, Y Combinator, proposed a desert flooding project in 2018 costing $50 trillion. The workers would need essential services, so an economic boost would spread to surrounding areas as the channels were built. And the new lakefront property would eventually bring real estate and tourism. Small towns might pop up around the lake, substantially increasing the current population of 320 people in the area. Flooding Death Valley would help in the fight against climate change. Building turbines along the channels would create renewable energy from water flow. Phytoplankton would grow in this newly created marine environment, reducing the carbon dioxide in the air. It could even offset rising sea levels by creating space for that water inland. But should we do it? While deserts are usually seen as lifeless expanses, they are important ecosystems and host a variety of different plants and animals. We would be displacing many animals if we flooded Death Valley. Say goodbye to the famous roadrunner, as well as bobcats, gophers, and cottontails. These animals would need to find new homes. This becomes a problem when they decide your backyard looks nice. Deserts are also extremely valuable for mineral production. Gypsum, borates, nitrates, potassium, and salts are all minerals that build up in deserts when water evaporates. Lithium, an essential mineral for batteries, is found in the Atacama Desert in Chile. Electric cars, cell phones, and other green technology wouldn't be possible without it. And flooding them is not a new idea. Terraforming them into lakes has been debated for over a century. But for now, let's enjoy the beauty and diversity that deserts like Death Valley or the Grand Canyon offer us. Although, there are plans to terraform the entire Sahara Desert. His would require international collaboration and would have huge impacts, both good and bad, around the world.